everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's high-end makeup review is on the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I do just have a little sample pack here, but let's go in and give it a try. I've never tried this before. So if you'd like to uh, see me apply this, see my first impressions, then please keep on watching. Also make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. I upload a video every single day of the week, and I don't want you guys to miss any. So guys, um, this foundation is $39 for one fluid ounce. It does have four star review online. Guys, it only 12, comes in 12 shades. Okay, so that is the shade range. So pretty, pretty poor shade range. Guys, I am pretty pale with pink undertones. And guys, I mean that that dark shade is uh, not dark at all. But uh, guys, it is cruelty free, water based. It's made without um, parabens, mineral oils, all that jazz. So let's go ahead and just give her a try. Um, guys, I also kind of wanted to talk to you guys while I was filming this. So, um, I have decided, for a little while at least, I'm going to stop doing high-end makeup reviews. Um, just, you know, by themselves. Um, and one of the reasons why is because, um, there's a couple of reasons. Um, I have spent a lot of money, um, on makeup recently and, uh, it's getting a little much. And also, guys, because I... When I first started my channel, I did a lot of cooking videos, meals under $5, um, and I absolutely love cooking. I used to be a chef. I love it, um, and I love doing cheap, affordable, healthy meals. So um, I'm going to go back to that for a little while on Tuesdays. Um, every other day of the week, it's going to be something about beauty, fashion, skincare, hair, makeup, all that stuff. But... If you enjoy cooking as well, or if you're looking for some cheap, affordable, healthy meals for your family, then um, guys, that's going to be starting to go up on Tuesday. I'll still be doing high-end products. It'll be just mixed in throughout the week, um, whether it's um, using it during a tutorial or whatever, but I'm still going to be doing high-end. It's just not going to be a dedicated video, you know, on Tuesdays, okay? Um, but guys, um, I'm going to be trying out this shade. Um, light neutral and guys it still looks pretty dark for my for my skin tone and guys um, it does look like um, there is two shades lighter than that looks like there's fair neutral and fair light neutral but guys but still if you're very very pale I'm not super super pale um, it's still gonna be it's still gonna be rough Oof. let's see now okay I'm just gonna be using my uh, elf um, ultimate blending brush Looks like it's a pretty liquidy, I'm not going to be able to, yeah, it's a pretty liquidy foundation, guys. I mean, it's it's pretty liquidy, but let's go ahead. Okay. It does claim full coverage. And, uh, it is looking like that might be true. I guess the shade is not horribly off. Looks pretty, pretty decent. Feels lightweight. I personally like a brush just because I feel like you can get better coverage. It's fast and uh, I mean I do like a sponge but with a sponge it does you know a lot of product gets eaten up but it you know a sponge definitely has its has its beauty to it as well. Okay. I got a little bit too much on my brush, so we're just gonna spread it, but. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's looking pretty nice. My skin was freshly washed and moisturized. I'm not a huge primer person. So, I actually think that's a decent color. I definitely know I'm one of those people that feels like I'm a lot lighter than I am. I think it's just because, you know, when I was in middle school and high school, you know, um, foundation shades in the drugstore were always very orange. So I'm used to, I'm still kind of in that mode of, you need to get the lightest shade and it's not like that anymore. But guys, I mean, honestly, they're, this shade range for the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea, it's definitely not great. 
12 shades is nowhere near enough. I mean, there are drugstore, very, very cheap, affordable drugstore lines of foundations that has way more than 12. So. But, uh, I think that's looking pretty good, actually. I think it looks smooth on the skin. It looks good in my pore area. Like I said, um, if you've ever watched my videos, um, I have a very large dilated pore from when I was younger, had pretty bad acne, and it never, the pore never kind of went down in size. Okay. Blend it out really, really easily. It doesn't look cakey or heavy at all. Definitely feels like it kind of sets down, like it doesn't feel gooey or greasy at all. I would definitely still apply some um, some concealer underneath my eyes, just because they're, the dark circles are real. But um, I think it looks nice, it feels very lightweight, it is water-based, which is nice. You know, guys, honestly, first impressions wise, I mean, just put it on. I don't know how it wears, but if it stays looking this good throughout the day, um, I think I would, if it was on sale, I'd probably actually pick up this foundation. It looks really nice on the skin. It did help to cover up some of that discoloration from some acne. I don't know about you guys, um, but when the weather starts changing with the seasons, my skin always breaks out a little, so I'm definitely got those, uh, it's, it's cooling down. We're going into fall, Kim, so it's time for my skin to break out, so, but, um, uh, I really, really like the way this foundation is looking so far. So, guys, first impressions-wise, went on really, really easily with a, you know, a kabuki stippling brush type motion. Um, really, really like the way it looks, really, really comfortable. Um, I like that it has a semi-matte finish. I mean, I got a little bit of natural shine on my nose, but it's nothing that I absolutely hate. Um, I, use, I don't like um, luminous foundations at all. I like more matte foundations, but this is a nice mix. I actually like the finish so far. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. It's looking pretty good in my forehead wrinkles. Um, you know, obviously, guys, unless you're getting fillers or if you're using, like, a super expensive, heavy-duty filling primer, if you do have, you know, some pretty pretty aggressive, deep wrinkles, any product's gonna um, kind of sit in it. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm liking the way this looks a lot. Um, doesn't seem like it's transferring yet. Feels really, really comfortable, really, really lightweight. I can definitely feel like I have something on my skin, but I definitely have foundations that I absolutely love that feel heavy. Um, and this definitely does not. So, um, covered up a lot of the under eye darkness. Um, also helped to cover up the um, little veins and capillaries that I have showing on my eyelids. So, yeah, I'm really, really liking the way this looks. I also have like a little breakout right here on my neck and uh, did a pretty good job. If anyone's ever had a breakout on their neck, they're pretty much impossible to cover. I mean, they're horribly hard to cover. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really, really good. So, first impressions wise, really, really liking it. $39, is it worth it? I've tried other high-end um, foundations. I've tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear, way too heavy, way too cakey, way too matte, and that's from somebody that loves a matte foundation. So is it worth the money, in my opinion, just from a first impressions point of view? Yeah, I, I like it. Um, I have combination skin. I have starting to get that mature skin. Um, I, I like it a lot. I think it's really, really comfortable looking really nice after the first, you know, first, what, five, ten minutes after application. I'm liking it a lot. It looks really, really nice. Looks skin-like, but has really, really nice coverage. I wouldn't say that it's a full, full coverage. I would say it's a high-medium coverage-wise, but uh, I think it still looks really, really nice, even out the skin tone very, very nicely. So, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. So, yeah, I do think it's worth the $39. I personally would definitely pick up this foundation if it went on sale. I definitely would. And I do think that the shade that I used, the uh, light neutral, I think it's actually a really good shade. It's not too light. Undertone seems seems pretty good. Um, from what I'm seeing in my mirror, it looks good. Love that it's water-based. Love that it's cruelty-free. Um, the only downside I'm seeing right off the bat is the really crappy shade range. 12 shades, I mean, that's more like a 
BB Cream Tint and Moisturizer shade range. That is not a full coverage foundation shade range in the least, okay? Um, but I, I guess if you, um, if you are in that very, um, I, guys, I would almost say this is a more of a medium spectrum, okay? Maybe a slightly light to medium to maybe a slightly, not even deep medium, maybe a little bit towards the darker end of a medium shade range, then I would definitely recommend going into your local Sephora. Even Ulta sometimes will like send you home with like a little sample of a foundation. Um, go in there, try it, try it on, see what you think of it. Cause yeah, I think it's, it's set down. I feel like I could put um, contour and blush and everything over this, but I would, I definitely set my makeup, but I wouldn't set my forehead. But um, yeah, I'm really, really liking this so far. So guys, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, foundation, I'm liking it. It feels comfortable and uh, it looks really, really good too. So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, um, I might go get a f sample. You know, if it goes on sale, I'll definitely pick up, pick it up. But um, I'm liking it so far. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's high-end makeup review. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you share this video, guys. I know by no means that this is a new foundation, but, um, you know, I like to just, you know, when I get free samples of high-end makeup or if it comes as a sample from ordering from Ulta or whatever, I like to try them out with you guys and um, I'm really, really liking it. Guys, leave a comment down below. Um, how are you feeling about me changing back to the gourmet on a budget? That's what it was called when I first started my channel. Um, and guys, also, um, leave a comment. Have you tried this foundation? Do you like it? I'm liking it so far. I think it's really, really nice. And guys, um, also make sure you guys follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a great one, guys. Bye.